Welcome back to What Are Nibs with General Disturbance. This is an M44, the Tier 6 American SVG. This one is located on the northeast spawn of province and it's under the command of Dean Wood Dino. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> we do get some, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that is a bit of a name. A mouthful and a half. Game started. Okay, it's a 155mm howitzer. Doing 550 alpha with a penetration rate of 39 millimeters of armor and a burst radius of 7 meters. And Dean Wood Dino's taking it into the bushes and getting ready to shoot at the enemy. Now, I think what he's actually going to do is shoot at the other side of the map. And uh, yeah, can hear some damage going on. And that tends to indicate to me that there's somebody actually on the move. Can't see any fences knocked down. Oh, yes, you can now. There's a, Those fences just went down. Somebody went through them. And I suspect there's tanks behind some of those bushes. He's fired around at that bush. Nobody at home, but I suspect there's somebody on the bush to his left. Okay, some enemy tanks have been found at the other end. And, oh, there's a T-67. He's made a bit of a rash decision there. Oh, and Dean Woodino is just hit by the M44 and the enemy team, who must have spotted where his firing position was. He's lost his gunner. His tracks were, were damaged, and he's had to move position. And he also had to change position. Oh, and there was the M44 firing in again and missing this time. He's put his gunner back in, but it's obvious that the enemy RT was trying to counter battery. There is only one enemy RT, but he's obviously good enough that he's actually worked out where Dean Wood Dino is. And now Dean Wood Dino needs to change his position so that the enemy can't find him. He fires one quick round and changes position. The enemy RT is now going after our tank destroyers so he's free to now aim at something else and what's he going to do oh he's going to do counter battery and there you saw the tracer oh he didn't fire at the right spot i did see the tracer i know where that enemy rt is and he knocks over a tree when he backs up and that would actually give away your position to the enemy rt if they're looking now he's extending his aim and he's scrolling it out rather than actually going directly to the spot that he wants to hit. And he's over to the right, slightly to the right. A bit more further over to the right. You'll see his tracer any second. I don't think he's relocated. If you go to overhead view, there you go. And it's actually slightly to the right of that rock. That's it. Round about there. A bit cl closer, I would have said. But he's changed position. Pulled back. I'm pretty sure that uh, enemy RT is actually aiming at our guys in the south, the KV-85 and the T-150. It does help if you go to overhead view sometimes when you're firing at the enemy because it uh, makes it much easier to uh, locate exactly where they are precisely. And that's how the M44 found Dean Wood Dino when he, was, uh, when he fired his first shot. He's trying to help that uh, Panzer 3-4 against that KV-85, who's just around the corner. But the KV-85 is in an RT safe position. There's nothing we can do to hit him. He's directly behind that house. And there's no way we can get a shell onto him. Dean Woodino's decided to change position yet again. And this time round, he's going a little closer to the uh, edge. And he's moved well over, well away from where he was last uh, hit. And from this angle, he might be able to get a shot near the KV-85. And if he can splash him, that will be good. Rounds out. Direct hit wipes him out. But he needs to change position straight away just to avoid the counter battery. Just in case that guy knew where we were firing from. Now he's scrolling out his aim again. You don't need to scroll out. You can actually do it 
by using control and the right hand mouse button on the minimap. Move the cursor over the minimap to the spot where you want to look at and then right click on the mouse on the minimap where you want to hit and that's where the view will go straight away. So you don't have to scroll out every time you need to aim. He fires around into that corner and he's backing up to avoid the counter battery. That's good. Now there's a T-34 on the road going down to near the Chaffee. So he needs, needs to put a round into that one. No, ignore the OI. It's a big hitbox, but oh, that's what you want to hit. It's a T-34 on his side. <laughs> Easy target. Nice kill. Now move position. That's it. Just move a bit forward. And oh, the OI is now in the open. This is going to be an easy kill. He's trying to get a shot on our guy. And that was a nice hit for 224. Or was it no? For 72 hit points, but he got 224 of stun assist. Backs up a bit, so he's going to fire another round in there. Dialing in. Rounds out lands on his rear for 53 and he changes position again to avoid the counter battery don't get too close to the bushes because if you get too close to the edge the enemy uh, the enemy tank might see you okay he's could kill the oi this shot and he does very nicely done so he's now got three kills and there's two enemy tanks remaining one of which is the rt It'd be really nice if he could kill that one. The IKB-65-2 is in a tank destroyer position. He's actually decided to stay on this side of the map and move down. The KV-1S is on the low road. And the Hellcat's going over to the other side. So hopefully he's going to spot the enemy arty for us and give us a clean shot on him. Now, the enemy M44 is not going to have a clear view of us over on this side of the map. The IKV might have enough view range to spot something over this side. He might. Well, Dean Modino's got into a nice little position down here at the near end, but he's going to have difficulty shooting in to that enemy RT if he is hiding in the K row. He's gone up onto the heights here. Ready to shoot. Yep, he's ready to go. Now, if I remember correctly, slightly over to the right, slightly over to the right from his current position, if I take control of the camera, He's over here on this side. And I think he was actually over behind those bushes. We'll see if there's a tracer any second because uh, the Hellcat is on the move and he's in the open. It looks to me like the M44 is hiding behind one of the rocks and that's why he didn't fire. He's changed position. Oh, he's gone into that corner and he just shotgunned the Hellcat and killed him. From the current position that he's in, Dean Woodino hasn't got a shot on the M44, but if the M44 keeps moving like that, he will get a shot on him. No, I think the K... Oh, there's the IKV as well. And he is around the corner. That's why it's not a good idea to go to this corner. Because if you do... Fires around in. Too late to get the IKV. You can't shoot into that corner, you see. Because the rock gets in the way. What's he doing? Is he driving to the edge? He's trying to spot. Unfortunately, you've only got a very short view range. Your view range is very, very limited indeed. In fact... The IKV's got a much longer view range than you have. So what he needs to do now is go up the other end 
and await the enemy coming up towards us. I'm not sure if that IKB is going to come up here to try and kill Dean Wadino. He may not know that he's up here. Well, if they start capping, he will know. They have started capping. So that means the IKB is the one that's capping, I think, because the M44 is probably trying at this moment to support the IKB. Yes, he's more than likely going to be in one of the bushes. Okay, going to have to go down there. Oh, don't go that way. Oh. <laughs> That is a very dangerous route to get down. He stopped to have another shot. Oh, we got him! He hit the IKV. He was hiding behind that house in that gap. So he's taken out the enemy uh, tank destroyer. And that means now he's on equal terms with the M44. Except, of course, the enemy M44 is still full of health as far as he's aware. I didn't see or catch how many hit points he had left. But he's now capping in the enemy's cap. So he's going to force the M44 to come back and reset him. Now, the M44, if he's smart, will do exactly the same as Dean Wood Dino did, and that's fire into the bushes first to see if anyone's at home. And he can do that with a blind shot. He doesn't need to come close to the edge to do it. But if he does drive to the cap, then Dean Wood Dino is going to get a chance to fire at him with a perfectly aimed shot. And there he is. He's up on the cliff. He's having a look before he comes down. And that was a fatal error. And he did have reduced hit points. Which made it an easy kill for Dean Wardino. And he wins the game. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And it's a third class tanker for Dean Wardino in the M44. He managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In this one he ended up with 13. And he got a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He ended up with five. And of course as you saw he had to carry at the end to ensure that his team won because he was left facing two opponents and uh, only one of him but he still managed to get the kills to uh, get the win for the team so let's have a look at team score didn't get the highest damage in the game no that went to that ikb 65 2 who actually made a very poor decision in placing himself to hide from uh, the arty he should have probably actually rather than hiding in a bush probably should have been better off actually hiding behind one of the rocks in the cap circle because after all the m44 was obviously going to fire into the cap circle and of course what he did is he actually picked to a spot actually directly behind a house thinking the house would protect him and unfortunately it didn't protect him from splash and that's what took him out um, so the next highest damage was the m18 hellcat with 1769 and after that, it was the P43 Biz with 1402. And Dean Wardino managed to get 908 hit points of damage. But he did get the highest number of kills on his team. Not the highest number of kills overall. The IKV 65 Alt 2 managed to get a top gun and 7 kills. So he picked up a high caliber and a top gun in that game. But of course, he did lose the game. And Dean Wardino got 5 kills. And the IKV 85 got 3. And he was the next high scorer. So... When it came to base XP, it was the Chaffee he managed to get 799, the Hellcat got 767, and Dean Wardino got 703. Those are the highest scorers in the game. And when it came to base XP, um, base XP, what am I talking about? Uh, when it comes to shots fired, he fired 15, got three direct hits, one penetration, seven splash. Damage of 908 hit points, of which 868 were at more than 300 meters. He received one hit. It was uh, from the enemy RT, the M44, and it fired the first. After the first shot he made, the enemy RT spotted immediately where he was and fired around at that spot and hit him, but didn't wipe him out. 
6 enemy vehicles damage, 5 killed and 318 hit points of stun assist of 3 stuns. He managed to get 53 defense points in the cap and 44 capture points. And well, if he just left it a little bit longer, he probably would have ended up with a defender medal. But of course, he couldn't take the risk. He had to fire at the most, uh, the best places he could think of where the enemy might be, and he got it right. And when it came to the cap, well, the M44 didn't fire a blind shot. He actually poked his nose over the edge to see if he could spot anyone, and that was a fatal mistake. If you're in an M44, you're going to be hiding in a bush. And if you poke your nose out over the edge, all that's going to happen is the enemy RT is going to see you and he's going to fire at you, even though you can't see him. So best thing to do is fire blind shots into the cap before you have to go down and find out where he is. If you enjoyed that replay, um, oh, sorry, didn't do the credits. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself there. Uh, he received 18,261 credits, got 10,683 from the Holdy Ops. And after repair and ammunition respy, took away 28,627. He got 703 XP from the game, 4,220 4, from Holdy Ops, and 5,275 experience points altogether. So, a very interesting ending for that battle for Dean Wood Dino. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel, please. And thank you for watching.